everybody. I'm going to show you how to make the organza ruffles for the I Can't Be Bothered Now costumes. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy to do, but I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys to make it easier. So this is the organza fabric. It's about 58 inches wide. I've got the two selvage edges and I'm going to put those two edges together and fold it in half. Actually, I'm going to fold it the other way because there's already kind of a crease there. I'm going to fold it in half again. It's easier to cut through multiple layers of this fabric. It's easier to cut evenly if you have multiple layers. So basically I have my selvage edges folded in half one more time to put it into quarters, just like so. I'm going to measure 10 inches across. I'm just going to use a simple ruler for this demonstration. So I'm just going to measure in 10 inches and I'm going to cut through all four layers of fabric at the same time, measuring in 10 inches. When you're done, you'll have a piece of fabric that looks about like this, 10 inches wide with the selvage edge on the short ends. Then you're going to want to take that fabric and fold it in half lengthwise. So you've got a long strip of fabric. That's the width of the fabric, which is the 58 inch width and you've got the selvage edges on the short end. I'm gonna go down to the sewing machine and I'm gonna stitch this, so hold on one second. Okay, so I'm at my sewing machine. Um, I've got my fabric folded in half. I don't even pin it. I just put it right in the sewing machine and I leave it folded in half. So if you can see right here. Okay, I'm at the sewing machine. I'm just gonna stitch that long side and leave about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm not even pinning the fabric, I'm just holding the edges together, and the edges don't have to be perfectly aligned. I'm just going to go straight down this long side and keep feeding it through until I'm all the way to the end. Okay, so after you sew that up, you've got your little piece of fabric. You've got about a quarter inch seam allowance right here, and you have just essentially a long tube. So I'm just gonna thread that tube kind of onto my hand and just thread my hand all the way through it. I'm gonna grab a little bit at the end and then just push the fabric off the end of my hand and turn it right side out. Just like that, kind of like you turn a pair of nylons, you know, inside out or right side out and then you've got a tube. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron this edge with the seam flat, and I'm just gonna use a really low setting on my iron. My iron goes from zero to seven, and I've got it on like a two and a half or a three, so a pretty low setting, and I'm just gonna press it. So you can see I've got it flat here, and I'm just gonna take an iron and just press that seam nice and flat. It just takes a second because it's a very lightweight fabric, so you don't really need to put a lot of effort into it. Okay, so I just pressed the seamed edge. I didn't press the other side because you want that to kind of have a, you want it to be fluffy, so you don't want it pressed totally flat. Just press the seamed edge, and then we're going to go back down to the sewing machine and turn this into a ruffled little strip of fabric. So, be right back. So the next step is I put this, the pressed seamed edge back underneath my presser foot. Again, I'm allowing about a quarter inch to even a half an inch at the most seam allowance. And I'm going to start to make little pleats in the fabric. And all I'm going to do is just press the fabric into the machine and make little pleats so that'll make it more ruffly. So I'm going to start doing that. Back up a little bit. And it's a little bit time consuming, but it'll go really fast once you get the hang of it. So I'm just going to push the fabric in, and as it feeds under the presser foot, I'm making a little pleats. They're about a quarter inch wide. If you can see what I'm doing there, the little pleats. Keep going with that. And just keep making little pleats. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you mess up, you can just put your needle on the fabric and lift up your presser foot. Fold a little pleat into the fabric and then just keep pushing it through. Just keep 
going just like that. If you have a ruffler presser foot, those work great. And I do have an extra one if somebody wants to borrow one. I have one for both a long shank machine, a low shank, and a high shank machine. So if you need a ruffler, let me know. I'm happy to let you use mine. I'm just going to keep going like this. And I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so now we have the finished product. You can see there's little pleats all along the top edge here. I'll make it nice and close. And they're not perfectly even. We just want to create a little ruffled effect. So you've got all the little pleats all along there and you're done. So we're going to do a whole bunch of those. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.